Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara's busy. And this is the review on the Concept Helix. Now, this is not a small knife. And let's get right into it. This is the, the Titanium S35VN model. Now, they do have a steel version, a more budget-friendly version, for I think right around $50, right around that price range. And Concept has all kinds of different knives. And I want to thank them for sending me some of their models to review. So you can find Concept at Blade HQ and a bunch of other places. They have a lot of different knives, a lot of different models, lots of different price points. And they have great quality knives. So go check them out for sure. Now this is going to be a, a little bit of a bigger knife at 8 and basically 8 and 3 quarters with a 3.6 inch blade. But it's a very tall knife at the same, well, at certain points. We'll get into that here in a second. Let's talk about cutting with it, man. Because cutting with it, I want to say that this is a, a Tonto, but it's not in the same breath. And it, it, the reason why is because it does have the secondary tip. Right, which you can use. You can use it to open things up, and like maybe if you have a package that you don't want to 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 put your blade too deep into, you can use it for that purpose. But it also works just like a drop point. It literally cuts just like a drop point. So all the the things with a tanto that hold you back with slicing, you do not have with this. And I'm also going to show you why or how easy it would be to just turn it into a drop point. But it slices really good. And, it, you know, for such a tall blade. Now, I measured this one about 15 to 18 thousandths behind the edge. So great cutting performance. The blade is not overly thick and it cuts really good. Good. I mean, I, I have no complaints with the, the way the, the blade cuts. This is S35DN, so you're going to get great edge retention and strength out of the blade. Easy to sharpen. Now, the tip is pretty fine, in a, like, and I mean that in a good way. So, the tip you can use. The thing is, though, is it is a tall, big knife. So, you are going to have to lift your arm up a little higher. You're not going to have the best leverage out of the tip for utility cuts. But you can do it in a pinch. You can use it. Or you can use that secondary tip for, you know, slight utility cutting where you basically drag the material into that edge, you know, if you need to. So you can get by with utility cuts, but it's not for that. It's mostly for slicing, cutting, push cuts. Let's talk about the ergos. Um, so the ergos, you have this front choil. So the front choil gives you a great grip up here for your push cuts and if you look that uh, it's flat on the sides but then it has these chamfers on the edge which your hand it just sits nice and nestled right there right over it and it feels really good in this grip then you have this taper that happens right here just like your hand does you know your hand is bigger up here and smaller down here very similar to this. So while this is not a neutral grip, it, it works out up here in this choke position. Now choked up back here, it, you know, it's still okay. It's comfortable because they do the same thing up here where it's thicker here and then it tapers down. So you still, it still feels good up right here, but I don't really use it like that. I mostly use it just like this right here. I just find myself a little far back. So, and then I do feel the clip a little bit, but not, not enough to be a complaint, but I do feel it a little bit. The jimping, you do have a good amount of jimping, which I like because back here I can actually reach it a little bit, but when I'm right here, I can reach it, you know, everywhere in every grip, whether I'm holding back or forward and it just works really good. You have a good amount of handle hanging out when you're choked up though, too. You know, for maybe knocking something into place or something like that. I don't know. But even back here, you you know, you have a good, good amount. It does have the lanyard hole, which on a big knife like this, it's, it's put in a great position. Uh, I don't, I haven't used it with a lanyard, but it just seems like it's in a good place. If you're going to put a lanyard hole on a big knife, I mean, 
at least it's not back here or you know it's it's a big knife so it's okay it's not bad they have jimping back here which actually does lock you in when you are in a choked up grip i can feel it right there when i'm cutting so and i don't mean i feel like it's bothering me i mean it gives me a little bit of traction now it is it does sorry it does have big hardware all the way around which i do like to see t8s all the way around especially for a big knife that's awesome i like the two-toneness where you know it's got the the grays and the blacks all working together. You can see the machining's done very well. Lots of weight relief. Let's see if we can see it. The weight relief is done heavily in here, so lots of machining. There we go. You can kind of see it in there. And let's get to the action really quick. So the action is really nice. So it really smacks out there. I mean, it's, and it has a good sound. You have like, um, it's, it's a, it, the flipper tabs up really high. If you look, here's the center of the pivot and see how much higher it is. So it's, it's a, a tall flip, meaning, um, a small hand might want to come from the side like this which might work out a little bit better for you. I'm not sure, you know, but for my hands, it works great. So I have a lot of leverage on the flipper tab. The flipper tab has jimping on it, which works out really good as well. Lots of leverage on the flipper tab and it really flies out there. Now, when you unlock it, the detent ball is nice and early. So you don't have to worry about it uh, fumbling around right there like how I just showed you like right there. You don't have to worry about that because when you unlock it, the, the flipper tab right here hits your finger. Nice spot. Get your finger out or hand out of the way and it drops shut. It is very false shutty. It is beyond drop shutty. It's a false shut action for sure. Very nice. The detent, nice and strong detent in a good way. No detent lash at all. Very nice. And if I really want to, I can use the texture of the blade and reverse flick it off of the bottom of the knife. I always find entertainment in that. So that's awesome. Now let's talk about the clip really quick and then we'll talk about sharpening it. So the clip does work and it sits nice and deep and in the hand it's not too bad i mean i mean it's not bad at all it feels just fine i feel a little bit back here but up here i don't really feel it at all going in the pocket though the um the ball it does it goes in and out just fine it's just it does kind of uh click going in and out because the ball i don't know if it's the texture or because it doesn't have i mean it has good spring and a lot of times with these titanium ball clips like this, they if they have a lot of tension, they, they're they not good going in and out of the pocket. Um, so I don't know if it's just because of the way the ramp is on the ball or if it's the texture. But, it, you know, it can be a little bit rough going over the seam and a little bit rough coming out. But it's not horrifying it's not like extremely bad but it's also not great it's not something that i would say is just a smooth in and out of the pocket type thing so but you know it does carry very good and it sits nice and deep in the pocket and for such a big knife it carries pretty good and that has to do with you know the thickness you know even though it's not a really thin knife it's pretty flat so it's you know more wide than anything you know it does have a little bit of weight to it but you know it's um in my opinion it's not too bad some people this might be a little big for though um you know this does have the over travel stop and lock bar insert so you don't have to worry about unspringing the lock bar the lockup's going to be rock solid as it is i mean this thing solid as can be it does have this little hole right through here i don't know why um it's you know what it's for or if there's a reason or anything but i don't think so i think it's just for looks to look cool um yeah <laughs> and 
it is running on ceramic bearings with a ceramic detent. Now, sharpening it. Now, I didn't sharpen it for a reason, and it's nothing bad. I know this thing will sharpen up just fine. I can tell the sharpening toil is decent. I can see where the plunge grind is. They left a little bit of meat. It basically is right there is where the plunge grind is. So it has a few sharpenings before, you know, you run into any issues. No problems with that. It, it looks fine. Um, now, I, one, I didn't sharpen it because it doesn't need it. Um, the edge retention has held up really good. I haven't needed to sharpen it. And there's one other reason that I'm not going to talk about right now. Maybe you guys will learn about it here in a few days. But it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. But I do want to talk about sharpening it because even though it's a Tonto, if this was my sharpening stone, okay, let's say this is my sharpening stone. If I was going to sharpen it, the way I would sharpen it is I would do this edge first which means I would not hit this part from here up. I wouldn't hit that. I would only hit from here to here on purpose. So I would sharpen it just like this, and I would come across. I'm going to go backwards so I don't hit the edge, but I'd go forward and backwards, forward and backwards. Then after I got a burr on this side, then I would switch to this. Then I would do the top part, and I would sharpen that. And I would flip, and I would do the same thing on this side. Now, if... I did not want this to be a tanto, and I wanted it to be a drop point. All I have to do is treat it like such. So instead of sharpening one part at a time, I just sharpen the whole thing by going like that. So over here, let me, let me show you in a pushing way. So I would go just like that. I'd basically just go across it just like that. And if I did that, it would turn this blade into a drop point so if you love this knife but you don't like tantos no worries no worries at all this is as easy to be a drop point as it is to sharpen a drop point so you do not have to worry about it if you do not like it like a tanto it's not a big deal at all it's a drop point first of all it performs just like a drop point anyways just a big belly drop point now if you don't like the way the look of a Tonto is, it doesn't matter. If you can sharpen a knife, this is a drop point for you because it will immediately turn into a drop point after sharpening it. As long as you sharpen it like that. If you sharpen it like that, it will be a drop point. I promise you. I've done it to a bunch of knives and this is about the easiest example of a knife that is a Tonto but could be a drop point as long as you sharpen it like a drop point. The, the little edge right here would go away and it would just be all belly. So, the tr so um, all in all, I like the knife, but let's get into some bad things. So, oh, I forgot to say, too, I'm sorry. The access to the lock bar is just fine. I always like to make sure I point that out. The sound of this thing is amazing, but, yeah, I like the, the access to the lock bar. So, let's talk about a couple bad things. So the first one, I think the stop pin is a little small for this big of a knife. It is a, it's, I mean, it's not a giant knife. It's a big knife. We'll do some size comparisons here in a second. But you see the stop pin? The stop pin is pretty small for how big of a knife it is. I'm trying to get it to come up. You can see it right there. It's not a big stop pin at all. Now the lockup's great. I'm not complaining about the lockup. The lockup's great. But, you know, I'd like to see a bigger stop pin. The next thing, the finish, you see how it's got a little scuff right there already. I have not, like, used it like crazy. I mean, I've used it and tested it. But you're going to get some scuffs and scratches. Me, personally, I don't care about that. But some people do. So I'm ma making sure I mention it, that this is going to be a knife that will show wear. It's going to be a knife that's going to show the love marks that you put on it. If you love your knife and use your knife, it will show with this knife. Now, luckily, it's titanium, so with titanium, you know, um, I'm not sure the coating that this is. If It's definitely not a DLC. Uh, I, I'm not sure. You know, I don't know the coating, so I'm not even going to say what it is. But, you know, it's going to show scratches. Another thing, the coating can be a little bit difficult to clean when you're cutting and you get tape on the, the, the you know, the surface of the blade or the texture of the blade, the finish of the blade, whatever you want, the coating. When you get sticky stuff on the, the finish of the coating from tape and stuff from cutting, 
it, you know, it, it's not too bad once you put some rubbing alcohol on it, it comes right off, but it's not as easy to clean as, say, a satin finish or a stone washed finish. Um, the next thing is the, the flipper tab is a little up high. I mean, I don't really care because I have big hands, so I, I, I hate to even call this a bad thing, but it, it's a little bit pokey. I mean, not, not bad. So I, I, I'm not even going to call that a bad. It's just something to note that the flipper tab is up pretty tall, but you have so much leverage in it that, and, you know, it smacks out so good. So, um, there's really not a lot of bad here, guys. There's really not. Anything I say right now is, it's not, nothing's bad on it in all reality. I, I'd rather see a, a bigger stop pin, though. That is one thing. I love that they use T8s. They do have the hidden screw from the, the, um, the pocket clip. It's on the inside, which is cool. It's two screws on the inside right under here. Everything machining-wise lines up really good. Um, right here, it's a little bit off, but all the rest is lined up perfect. I and mean, it's super smooth all the way across. But then right here, it's slightly, slightly off. Not by much, though. So, no, I'm not complaining. Um, so, I don't want to nitpick like crazy, but it is almost a $200 knife. It's like $189. So at that price point, you know, I think you should nitpick little things because that's not cheap. So the finish on the blade, um, that's going to be up to you whether or not you like this type of finish. It is like a gray coating. I am not sure what type of coating it is, but it is. Uh, it does have a little bit of texture to it, um, kind of a gritty texture. Um I see that probably showing wear a little bit in the future. You can see a little bit of wear from where I've been using it. Uh, but it's not horrible. But it's going to show wear on the blade. So that that's something. Um, other than that, all in all, man, great knife. Uh, big knife. Let's do some size comparisons really quick so we can get you guys out of here. Here's the SOCOM. The, the, the uh, Microtech SOCOM Elite, which basically the same size. The SOCOM might have it by... Nah, they're about the exact same size. Let's just call it the same size. Here is the Yojumbo. Another big knife. You can see uh, the Yojumbo is a little bit bigger than it. Not by much, though. Here is the Tucson TS-162. One of my faves, big, favorite big knives. I mean, all these big knives I'm pulling out are some of my favorites. Here's the React K2. About the same exact size. Here is the Hinder XM24. A little tiny, tiny bit longer, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit longer than the Helix. So, as you can see, it's a big knife. So, it, you know, they like I said, they have a steel version. So, they have a more budget-friendly version. If you love the knife, but it's just a little bit out of your price point, they do have a steel version so it's going to be very versatile in the hand you could say it might be a little boxy down here because um you know it's flat it's not contoured but they do have these chamfered edges and these chamfered edges are going to make it where you know you can wrap your hands around those spots but back here i don't really feel the chamfers too much i guess i don't know like i said it's more of this grip so there you guys go. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.